No, nah, no. Nah, um, one of the worst performances I've seen from this club. Um, awful, actually, to be honest. Uh, 16 errors. Uh, you know, come here with a you know, really good team on paper, you know, and a team, a team that people have been looking forward to um, playing well and making our mark on the on the competition and off the pace from the word go, you know, down 14 nil or wherever it was at the start, eight nil. Um, shocking first 20 minutes yet again. Um, you know, second week in a row, this team scored more tries than the opposition and got beat. That's just not good enough. So far outside the standards of what we set for ourselves, and unfortunately, for, you know, for our for our leaders, I think we've got some 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 of our experienced guys that just aren't stepping up at the moment. You know, our young boys are doing a tremendous job, and they have done a tremendous job all year. But we're not getting it from our experienced men at the moment, and um, got to fix that real quick. Don't know. I think it's a bit bit of cockiness creeping into our performance, thinking that we're um, listening to the press about you know the, the side that the Canola Sharks have got. It's, it means nothing to me. It's I want to see it in our performance. I want to see blokes who want to rip in and and um, take it to the opposition. And it looks like we're just expecting it to happen for us and. You know, full credit to the Bulldogs today. They they turned up and wanted it more. They ran harder. They hit harder. They competed on absolutely everything. You know, you got a guy. You got a guy in Aiden Tolman who's playing his 250th game, who's there to clean up that kick in the last minute of the game to win the game. And that, that's what we're lacking at the moment. We're lacking the, the, enough players out there who wanna who wanna do that. And it was in our game five or six weeks ago. And, and for some reason, it's it's disappeared. And, um, you know, whether it's the personnel we've got back or, or not. But, um, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. We've got to fix it real quick. As I said, we're, our, we're the f worst first half team in the competition as far as points conceded. Uh, we go all right in the second half, but, you know, clear, it's, you, you keep going down that path and expecting to win it in the second half. Eventually, like today, things don't go your way. And they didn't go our way, and the dogs didn't score a point in the second half. We couldn't get the job done. Yeah, well, you know, the game's in the balance. You're not going to look to your young blokes to stand up. You're going to look for your, you know, your senior leaders to stand up. You know, they're the guys who drive us during the week. And, um, you know, we've got a fair few experienced guys out there. I think on paper, we're one of the most experienced teams in the competition. So, you know, I'm, um, you know, we've got to walk the talk. Um, and when the game's in the balance like it was against Canberra, I just felt that the guys who were touching the ball the most, um, you know, Aren't, aren't doing the things that we want to get done. So, um, yeah, we've got to fix that real quick. In saying that, um, felt that we had a chance to at least, were robbed of a chance to uh, at least level the, the game there, that final play. Um, I, you guys can make your mind up, but Jack Williams is held down there. That's a seven second play of the ball after a long range break. Rimmer Smith has, comes over the top of him, has a second attempt to get back on top of the ball. That game should have been at least going into Golden Point, I thought. Oh, I don't know about changes, but it's just a just the performance in general. It just lacked everything that that we're all about. It lacked the way we prepared to play. Um, we're coming off a weekend off. We should have been here with a spring in our step. You know, maybe we're looking where they were on the ladder. You know, the, the very first thing I showed this team on Monday morning was an individual clip of every single player in that Bulldogs team doing something good this year. They haven't had the results, but they've been competing hard, they've been trying hard, they've got good individual players, and I was trying to zap that complacency out of them early in the week. And clearly, you know, we thought we just had to come up and t you know, turn up today and get the job done. And it just goes to show that, um, you know, that, that doesn't work in the NRL. And, uh, you know, we've got an experienced team, and that performance is not acceptable um, for the team that we're putting out in the park. Yeah, well, exactly. Of course, it's um, yeah, you just got to knock your goals over, don't you? It's um, I mean, they weren't all easy kicks. I get that, um, but you know, as I said, it's twice in a, two weeks in a row. We've um, 
we've gone down because we haven't nailed the, the, our goals. So uh, we've got a number of guys in that team who can kick goals. So no doubt that's going to be one of the many things on our list of training to fix this week.